everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time we're gonna be doing one of the last valentine's day sets that i have so this set is gonna be pretty simple just because we're only doing one color and bling so it's not as complex um so the color that i'm using is in the color bubble bath by opi as you guys know all my clients love this color i love this color and i know a lot of you guys love this color as well i get this one from my local nail supply store this is literally the only opi polish that i buy because they're so expensive i think this one is like 12 or 13 dollars i can't remember but um, it's more expensive than I usually buy the D&D gel polishes and I've tried to find a color similar to this but it's so hard because they're either too dark or way too light and like this color is definitely the perfect pink there is so we're gonna go ahead and apply that on all of the nails and we're gonna be curing each coat for 30 seconds as you guys know whenever I do it on myself sometimes I like to just do one coat but on all of my clients I always do two coats so we're gonna do this coat cure for 30 seconds and come back and do another coat I don't deny there's some strange evolutionary process but mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here today is evidence of that. Alrighty, so I put the other hand under the light for 30 seconds and I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat on this hand and to cure the nails I'm using my Abadi UV LED lamp as you guys know I've done a review on it before and um, it's been working really really good I just started using it recently the reason why I stopped using the Melody Susie UV LED lamp was because it just got old it still worked really good but it was polished all over it and when the new year started I decided to get all new everything so I got like new chairs I changed the tabletop on my table I changed the out the light out and I just changed a whole bunch of other things so I wanted to go ahead and bring out a new lamp as well but again it was still working really good it just got 
um, really messy from people bumping their nails on the light. Um, so we're doing the second coat and then that's when we're going to go ahead and start applying the bling. And then also to clean around the cuticle area, I am using my number six French brush by alpha brush as you guys know i do have a promo code for them so i'll be sure to leave that down in the description and then as you can see here like i'm kind of dabbing the sides of the nail and sometimes even the free edge um i have seen that a lot of you guys were talking about how it's hard to keep that perfect shape after you apply the polish and sometimes if you just literally like clean the side off just a little bit enough to where there's still like polish there of course but to where like you get that shape back you can do that um i know a lot of you uh, were actually i've seen people saying like why are you wiping the sides off if you're supposed to polish the sides like there's literally still polish there but it's like you're just making sure that you still have like that really sharp shape if that makes sense um but again just make sure you're not wiping super super hard just enough to where you're uh, fixing your shape again and that's going to help keep that perfect coffin shape So now that we're done doing two coats on each hand, we're going to go ahead and apply the bling. So as you guys know, I use the Mia Secret Gel Resin, which works really, really good for me. I'm using my wax pencil and I'm using my red bling. And then also I'm going to be using some bigger stones uh, for her ring fingers. And for that, I'm going to be using my hard gel. Again, this is the Mia Secret Gel Resin. You just apply it wherever you want your bling. Apply more as you go and then that's pretty much it so it's really nice and simple so for this one we're doing like an ombre effect with the bling where the bling you know it's getting scattered around as it goes down towards the tips and then it's a little bit more closer to the cuticle area so this one is the one that i'm doing the um cluster of the big stones so i applied the hard gel with my wax pencil i'm picking up the big pieces and then i'm just making a little cluster right in the middle of the nail but closer to the cuticle area and then this hard gel does have to be cured um, because if not of course it's not going to be dry because it's actual gel um, and you do want to make sure that you cure them right after you apply it um, just because they will move around if you don't um, and then also just add more glue not glue but gel if you need to to make sure they're on there really really good and then you're gonna see me go ahead and start applying bling on the other finger but you will see me come back and fix the bling again because they started sliding over actually no i guess not i thought i or actually yes it is the same the same hand so you see i'm uh, applying the bling on the middle finger and then you will see me come back and fix the other ones because they started sliding over to the side so make sure you just go ahead and cure the ones with the gel um, because they will move around Okay, so I'm going to let that cure before that I mess it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the big pieces on this hand as well. Just so um, the other one can cure. And then we're going to cure this one and move back over to the first hand. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish this hand off. So for this one, I'm just going to do some bling around that cuticle area. And then for the thumb, we're just going to do some like right in the middle of the nail. So again, just apply your Mia Secret Gel Resin wherever you want your bling. Pick them up with the wax pencil and just place them on the nail. And then you will also see me come back and spray the Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator. And all that is is just a spray that helps that glue fast uh, dry faster just because um, it is a gel consistent. It's a little bit thicker than regular nail glue, so it takes a bit longer to dry. Um, so with that spray, it just helps the glue dry. So I do recommend it. It's not like absolutely necessary, but I honestly feel like it helps the bling stay on a lot longer. So um, if you're interested, I'll be sure to leave down in the description. Um, so we're going to go ahead and finish this hand off, and then we're going to move over to the next one. Alrighty, so before we move over to the other hand, we're going to go ahead and apply the IBD gel top coat. And we're going to do that on all of the nails. And I also want to mention that this set was inspired by Dallas J Nails. As you guys know, that is my all-time favorite nail person. She is based out of Miami. So if you're in Miami, be sure to check her page out. And then I'll also be sure to leave her information down in the description.
So as you can see, we're doing the exact same thing on this hand. So we did the ombre bling on the pinky. We're doing the bigger pieces on a ring finger. We're doing this design on the middle finger. We're gonna do around the cuticle area on the index finger. And then we're doing the middle of the nail on the thumb. And same thing, applying the Music Secret Gel Resin, applying the bling with the wax pencil, and then coming back and spraying the Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator to help the glue, and then just apply the top coat. Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. As you can see, they look really, really pretty. That bubble bath color is just flawless. It looks so clean and just so pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at GetNail32. And I'll see you guys next time.